Okay, quotient rule. Here it is. In this case, it's the log of a quotient, log base A of, let's say, M divided by N is your input on the left side. So I will put it in parentheses, although, again, parentheses not necessary. Unless you're, now, when you're adding or subtracting numbers as your input, then it's necessary. But if, you're, if, you, if it's a quotient or a product, the parentheses aren't necessary. Turns out that this is equal to the lo uh, log base A of M, not plus, but minus log base A of N. And that's, if you can remember the product rule, you can remember the quotient rule. Because remember, a product is associated with repeated addition, right? So product rule log, log base A of M times N equals log base A of M plus log base A of N. A quotient is associated with actually subtraction. It can be associated with repeated subtraction. So log base A of M divided by N is equal to log base A of M. The only difference is there's a minus log base A of N instead of a plus on the right side. Let's see if we can apply that quotient rule once. Again, it just says log base A of M divided by N is equal to log base A of M minus log base A of N. So that, that's the rule. How does it tell us to combine log base B of 22 minus log base B of 3 into a single logarithm? Which way do you read it, left to right or right to left? To make a single logarithm, you read the rule from right to left. And you can think of the 22 as acting like what? M and 3 is acting like N. So what would you get? If you turn this quantity into a single logarithm, what do you get? Just 22 thirds, right? That's it. You can put parentheses if you want, but that's it. So that, this is the answer right here. Not too bad, right? What do you think the common mistake is here? So this is not, big old not equal to. It's not the same as log base B of 22 divided by log base B of three. But that would be the common misconception for obvious reasons, I think. Okay, but it's not the same. 